Hello everyone, you might be looking at Google AI Pro and comparing it against Copilot Pro and seeing which particular option is the better one for you. Now, Copilot Pro is basically Microsoft's AI subscription model. It is a plan that allows you to connect to Copilot and it allows you to have a couple of more features built inside of it compared to the standard Copilot. Inside of Google AI Pro, this particular option allows you to basically be embedded right inside of you know Google AI services. It allows you to go ahead and basically get a little bit more capability inside of Google Workspace in general. And it is actually a really cool type of option when it comes down to it. Now, they both start at $20. So that's a very big thing to keep in mind here. If you're wanting to just go ahead and start off, $20 is basically what you're paying for for be, you know both of these particular models. Now, some advantages for Copilot Pro. Number one, you basically get to unlock Copilot inside of all of your favorite applications. So this is kind of a big jump. If you're going to Copilot Pro, you're going to be able to get Copilot, you know, essentially in Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Microsoft Outlook, and several more applications as well. That's a really cool advantage there. You're able to connect to it in multiple different devices. You can go ahead and write documents with confidence with Copilot you know, Pro. You have the ability of compiling a lot of different data into one area, and you have different actions you can kind of compile into inside of Copilot. Now, if you're a user, like a power user of Microsoft products, then you would probably look at Copilot as being a really good option. And I would 100% agree with you. Looking at something like Copilot Pro gives you a lot of capability and a bunch of flexibility inside of that type of device because you're able to go through and pretty much use it inside of Copilot. So I do think that's a really cool application to kind of use there. Now, on the flip side with, you know, inside of Google AI Pro, this is a slightly different type of experience. Now, Google AI Pro, this is $20 a month. And within AI Pro, you basically get a little bit more of an advanced version of the Gemini application. So within Google Gemini, you get access to, you know, their most capable model, which is 2.5 Pro. You get the deep research option. You get, you know, video generation within VO3, which is really awesome. You also get access to Flow, which is their like AI filmmaking tool. You get higher limits for image to video creation with VO2. You get access to Notebook LM, which is their, you know, research assistant, which is really, really cool, which is really, really cool. You also get Google Gemini inside of Gmail, Docs, and Google Videos, and many more Google applications. And that right there is one of the coolest options. You're able to go through and use Google Gemini to basically essentially go through and, you know, write out emails, get feedback on forms, write in forms. It's basically like Copilot for Microsoft products, but just, you know, Gemini for Google products. That right there is a very cool option. And one of my most favorite things, the advantage for Google Gemini over Copilot is the two terabytes of storage that you get included inside of Google AI Pro. In my opinion, that $20 you're spending inside of Google AI Pro, I think is a better worthwhile amount than the $20 you're spending in Copilot Pro. So in my personal experience, if I'm about to go through and basically pick one particular option, I kind of do look at Google AI Pro as being a better tool to use than Copilot Pro. I think Copilot Pro is still great. It's good if you, especially if you use a lot of Microsoft products, but I look at Google AI Pro as probably being the better option for the most part, especially for $20. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.